Yo, what's up YouTube? And this is um, how to make a 308 caliber bullet. Well, generally you can make any bullet by using uh, this ruled, not really ruled, but um, technique I'm going to show you. All you'll do is go type in the round you want. Um, I'm going 308 because this is going to be going with the uh, M40A3 that I have already made. But um, generally there will be a Wikipedia page on the caliber you want. And uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all you need to do is just go to the Wikipedia page. Mine's 308 Winchester. Then over here they should have a very good picture. Um, they've also got one further down, but I'd rather this one. Just go File, Save As, and save it. I already have, so... Also, if you're wondering, that that is Firefox 4 Beta. I love the betas. Betas go. F betas will win. Anyhow, press N to bring up the side menu once you've download downloaded the image. it's uh, you got to add a background image. By now, I'm sure most of you know how to do that, because I do that a lot. I think I saved it in swords. There it is, the 308 Winchester. Let's just open that up. Uh, one is what front? No, I don't want to be front. I want to view. Right, right's good. Delete the default cube. And uh, a bullet needs to be in two parts. So what we need to do is shift A, add mesh, cylinder, rotate X 90 degrees, RX 90. Um, size it down a bit. Press to go into wireframe mode. Don't delete it, because I almost did. And you want to get this lined up as, as good as you can get it. That's pretty good. Then you want to tap into edit mode. Make sure you have... where is it? Uh, I don't know. Where, where is it at? Sorry, I'm still getting a little... Oh, it's because I'm in a wireframe mode. But uh, if you're not in wireframe mode, make sure you have um, the uh, C vertices on the other side turned on, this little option here. But I'm going to be in wireframe mode because it lets me see what's behind it. So I need to see... What was it? Bright? Yeah. Just E to extrude. Then E to extrude up to there. Got there. Size it in. And you don't want to be grabbing things, you want to size it in. Because generally that's what's go that's what actually happens with the bullet. It doesn't get sized in, but it gets trimmed down by uh, certain percentages. Anyway, so let's just finish off this back bit here. Um, e down to about there. Size it in. E to there. And then E to the back, uh, back bit there. We're going to size it up again, and then E to finish it off. So, now that we have the casing done, it will look... It should look something like this. However blocky it looks. You also want to delete this, um, this right here. The cap of there. Anyhow. So you want to smooth, and then you want to Add modifier, subdivision surface, pump that to 2. Subdivision surface is always good. And then just go over the bits that are supposed to be a little sharper. And this being a uh, bullet, it doesn't have to be too sharp. I might sharpen it up a little bit there. Don't, I don't want to fully sharp, but uh, at, that's pretty good. So if you right again, so as you see, it's fairly close to what's actually going on. You want to go on wireframe mode again, and you want to shift A, add mesh. Mm. Try it. I think we'll go cylinder again. Grab it, move it over here. Rotate X 90 degrees. Size down a lot. Now, 
I don't really know how far down this goes. Um, it meets here, obviously, as you can see. When I put it inside, like so. So, um, I think it goes to about here. Um, I don't actually own a gun, but I do want to. I'm getting one soon, hopefully. So we'll put it down to about. I mean, it doesn't have to be full realistic because more than like more likely than not, you're actually not going to be able to see the bullet when you do the animation. So yeah, by the way, I'm pressing B here if you don't know. Just extract it up to the tip and size it in. Uh, gee, actually, no, I don't want to grab it because if I grab it, then it's going to mess it up a little bit. So let's see how that looks. It's always a little angular, but that's what we got subdivision surface for. And then all you do is round it out a little. So there you go. That is a. I wouldn't say it's the best bullet ever made, and there's a little gap around it, which we can see if we go view view back. As you see, there's a, there's a little gap around it. We got to size it out a little to fit. You generally want to make it a little smaller than a little too big, because you do want to texture it. That should be fine. Now we'll view right again. I also see what colors they got on. There we go. So the head of it is a kind of brass, and the body of it's a kind of gold. Oh, that's what I can take away from it. I know that that's both probably brass, but um, I'm not very good with my metals. So let's actually don't want to quit out of it. Let's see where we're at. I think I can show you some quick um, textures. Okay, I don't. As you know, I don't really make my own, make my uh, own textures. I import them because I really don't like spending time on making textures. I've probably made one texture. It's my favorite texture so far. But uh, aside from that, I don't really do it. So you want to go append. And you want to find get your texture files, which I have mentioned on a lot of videos. I don't know if this is the right file though. Daedric Weapon, eh? Alabaster. Saved files. Hang on. Start documents. Blender. Blender. Blender things. Blender materials. Where are my other blender materials at? Materials. Okay, that, that's why. Extract here. Hmm. How big is that bake fold? Never mind. Sorry, I sometimes uh, wander off. Anyhow, so we'll go back in, and uh, this material presets. Uh, th yeah, this is the one. This is a. Uh, this has a lot of um, good materials. So uh, what we want to do is go brass if it has it. Brass. There we go. Link import. Now I don't know what kind of brass it's going to be. Okay, it's going to be. It's going to be more towards the bullet color. Now, I think I'll actually add in brass for the base as well. But what we'll do is Control C, Control V. So um, it actually needs to be a little gold. Uh, that's somewhat there. And the textures, I don't need the textures. 
does need to be very shiny though. Okay, so let's file, save, um, save it wherever you want. Let everything saved files, weapons, and stuff. Uh, 308 Winchester. I probably spelled Winchester wrong, but I don't really care. Now, is that light going to I don't know if that light's going to hit it right. Let's see. Meh, it looks okay, I guess. The head's a little dark for my liking. Intensity just makes it darker. But, uh, anyway. Also, uh, putting a primer in on the back here would look uh, a little good. Uh, all you do is extract. Actually, no, wrong option. You gotta select the back rim. The furthest room you can, press Alt and just mm, there we go. You got to try and get the back rim. And then all you do is shift click the middle, and you want to press E to extrude. Just click. Then you want to size it in a lot. I I don't really know what I'm doing here as far as the firing pin goes. E to extrude again. Click size it in some more, and then you want to. E extrude again. G. Was it X? Nope. G Y. Yes, want to go in a little bit. So then you'd be going silver, and then uh, let me just show you that quickly. Let's see. You just want this to be an alternate color. And I think we got, we'll just go brass, we'll go assign, so you know, control Z, control Z, control Z, dang it. So we'll go this to the other brass, and then we will see, get all these again. No, I didn't mean to do that. And we will click deselect. Never mind. If you've seen my other video, I don't want to drag this out. It's I'm just not thinking straight at the moment. But uh, anyhow, you'll do is change color there, and, and should be good. And these videos have been dragging on a lot, so um, I'm gonna end it right here. As always, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.